What happened? Oh. Hi Robin. Hi Mona. Hi Elizabeth. How are you? We'll talk a little bit before I get started. How is everybody? Well, that's good. We've got some sparkling water. I've been drinking tea all day. I wanted a break. <laughs> Hi, Louise. Good to see you back. Hi, Diamond Painting Dreamer. I can't wait to color. I was supposed to color all weekend, and I ended up diamond painting just about all weekend. I did start a Hannah Lynn page on Friday and worked on it a little bit, and then Catherine wanted me to diamond paint when she was here instead of color. So... Oh, that's horrible, Elizabeth. That stuff's going around. Hi, Kim. Hi, Jeannie. That's okay, Kim. I mostly do that, too, when I'm in live streams. Hi, Laverne. Because if I'm diamond painting... It's in front of me, so the diamond painting's between me and my laptop. Hi, Jen. Hi, Elizabeth Adams. Yeah, I've dealt with it for most of December, Elizabeth. It comes and goes. Robin's working on a puzzle. Hi, Laura. Hi, Jessica. Don't mind me. I'm finishing up a couple of meatballs I had from leftovers. <laughs> That's okay, Kim. Yeah, so when I'm diamond painting and I'm in chat, I don't chat a lot because I'm busy diamond painting and my diamond painting's in the way of my laptop. But when I'm coloring, it's much easier. <laughs> Laura's trying to finish her diamond painting. Is that the one for your husband? Oh, let's right, see. One more minute. Oh, I want that so bad.
<laughs> it's pretty easy to do a square a night. I can usually do one in a couple hours. <clears throat> so, disclaimer, this is an adult channel. If you are under 18, goodbye. You don't belong here. We discuss adult things, and the coloring books are for adults. It is for anxiety, physical pain, any type of medical issues that you have. I also have five cats and a dog. You will hear the dog bark. I can guarantee it. She will scare the shit out of you like she does me. The cats, well, they're not as noisy, but you might see one or two of them because they will jump up here. Now, let's get started. <clears throat> You've been able to diamond paint. Oh, nice. You're going to get your own room. So we're working out of Magical Delights by Clara Markova. And I'm working on this page. And we're going to work on the leaves. We are using Prismacolors because that's what I was asked to use. Hi, Shine Like a Diamond. How are you? Yes, the show stealer is Miss Pro. Oh, I better get my glasses on if I'm going to color. Although I can see everything really good. I'm just afraid I'll color out of the lines. <laughs> Thank you. I like going into yours. So, Monday nights, I color. We do color in chats. Tuesday night live stream is talking about planners and setting up my planner for the week hi Jackie and just showing my planners tomorrow night though I will be unboxing the new simply gilded subscription box and Wednesdays was whip Wednesday for coloring but I have decided that for Whip Wednesday, it is going to be cross stitching. That's right. Because people want me to bring in my cross stitching, and the only day I would be able to do that. Hi, Selena. Hi, Carmelita. <laughs> Everybody's coming in. So people wanted me to cross stitch. And the only day I would have to do that is Thursday. And I really don't want to do Thursdays. Thursday is like the only day that I do not do anything on the channel. So I decided for Whip Wednesday we'll be cross stitching. I don't know how well that's going to work <laughs> because I really cannot sit there and count because I don't do little things. I have big whips. They have a lot of detail. So we will see how well that goes. You are looking for a starter kit? Yeah, I didn't have time today to look to see what I have. I went and visited with my parents for a while, and then we had to go to the grocery store. Sorry, I have the hiccups. I must have ate my food too fast. Yep, I must have. So, yep, I... I decided, well, we do color in one week, and we do diamond painting one week. You know, I talk about my books on Fridays. 
and I was just going to make videos for cross stitching instead of live stream but I did make the decision to do it on Wednesdays but this Wednesday I won't be cross stitching and had asked me if I would do a whip journey like some of the cross stitchers are doing I guess and showing all my cross stitch whips oh my gosh shine like a diamond really <laughs> no mine are usually quiet <clears throat> I usually get them when I'm really hungry or if I ate too fast Hi, Nick and Tina. How are you? So, yep. So, that will be Wednesday. And then Thursday is my day off from my channel. <clears throat> Well, Robin, really, as you can see, Miss Pearl is with us. <laughs> Hi, Shara. I miss you, girl. How's your vacation with your grandchildren? Hi, Aussie girl. <laughs> yeah, we're going to see how much coloring I get done. And she thinks my hand needs to be cleaned. So for anybody that does not know, this is my cat, Pearl. She is a camera hoe. She thinks that I'm talking to her. Candace, wow, we got 30 people watching. Woohoo! Let's get those thumbs up, people. So, I, yeah, so Friday nights, you guys know my live is tea time. We talk about the books I read for the week. I show all my whips of coloring, cross stitching, diamond painting, and then I tell you about all the coloring news, but I'm trying to start adding in if there's stuff going on in the diamond painting world. Okay, Jessica. Okay, Shara, you're leaving us again. It's probably late there, right? Or early morning? You enjoy those grandchildren. <laughs> okay, Miss Pearl, I got to move the books so they can see what I'm doing. I should Mad Lib every stream. Yeah, I don't have enough to do that. I do have to talk to Dylan, though, about getting that one game. Um, Miss Pearl, come on. Really? <laughs> Just move. <sighs> oh, okay, Shara. Have fun. Hi, Lori. Sorry, I had to clear out my nose. My nose is runny tonight. So, I am, I don't, no, Miss Pearl, you stay right where you are. No, Miss Pearl. You stay right there. Yeah, I can hear you purring. <laughs> okay, Laura. Okay. <laughs> 
So I don't know how people go, what you do when you can't sleep. So my issue's been going on, and I don't know if some of it's my own fault or what. And I haven't babysat in, what, two, three months? When's the last time I babysat? Beginning of November. So two months. So because I don't have to get up on time for anything, I stay up late. And I usually go to bed around 1 o'clock. But now when I go to bed, I sit there and toss and turn and toss and turn and toss and turn. Now when I was sitting here diamond painting, my eyes are falling asleep. But I get into bed and I can't sleep. So I'll get up and I will diamond paint a little bit more. Now this morning I didn't go to bed till after 2 because I couldn't fall asleep. But I'm wondering if some of it is because I have um I have the laptop on and I'm watching videos. So I'm thinking no more computer at least an hour before I go to bed. But see, I've been up watching people's live streams and I've been going in them if I'm awake. And then I can't fall asleep. And I know if you have on the computer too much, it does cause issues. So, and I start babysitting again next week. So I'm going to have to get me back into a schedule. Oh, okay. Candace, what did you buy? You put on an audiobook. Already? It's only the sixth. I've read two books this month. I um tomorrow I plan on cleaning in this room and going through all my coloring books because I'm not keeping a lot of them. Hi, Melody. Play games on your phone till you fall asleep. Yeah, it, they do say that, Jeannie. So I'm having, I think that's my issue, is I sit here and diamond paint all night and watch everybody's videos that were put up during the day. Because you know me, I try to watch everybody's videos, and I know I can't. So I think I'm going to have to have a cutoff time. <laughs> Now, the other night that I couldn't fall asleep, I turned the music on and diamond painted. And then when I went back to bed, I could fall asleep. And I did buy melatonin today because I've been out of melatonin and that helps. You got the princess one, the um, ice princess, Candace. Oh, a thunderstorm app. Yeah, see, I could do that too. And I have an Echo Dot. It's just not hooked up. I still have to hook that up. And I know that would help. Heartful Diamond. Oh, okay, Candace. Yeah, I've never done a podcast. Have no clue how to do that. It's 
So usually um, I'll put Sirius on my TV. I have Sirius, so I have it on my TV. I have an app on the TV. So I'll just listen to some music. And that helps. But yeah, I could do the thunderstorms because I love listening to thunderstorms. But I, I know most of it's because I'm on the computer. Yeah, I know how to do it. Nope, I can't sleep in dead quiet either. I have a fan in my bedroom. In the winter time, it faces the wall. But I have to have the fan on in the bedroom for the noise. And it has, because it drowns out other noises, like um, animals outside or anything, it will drown that out. Show the pages I've completed in this book. Sure, hold on. See if I can... Move this up. Okay, so I have done, I did the nameplate. Let's see if I can move this just up a little bit more. Did the nameplate, and I used my Arteza water brushes and some pencils, Arteza pencils. <laughs> hi Tina I said earlier to hi <laughs> um, I did this one I used Prismacolor pencils um, I used the Prismacolor new pastels for the background I used a Posca pen in a few places a dots on the butterfly and I did this watching Julie's Passion for Coloring. So, yep, I really like how this came out. Oh, yeah, and the background down here is also the new pastels. So, that was cute. And what else have I finished? I know I have a couple other. Oh, this was a buddy color that I did with Jen when I first got this book from Jen from Reading with Pugs. So, and I believe I used Prisma colors on this because back then, and it's soft, and back then I did not have the whole binds. I didn't write down. Usually on the other page, I write down what I used, but I didn't. So, yeah, and it's got stickles. It's got stickles. So, yep, the little rabbit. And I did this page here that I love. I love this page. So, yep, there's the sky and all that. This I did with Prisma Colors. And this was watching the video of Julie's passion with for coloring. As I love watching her videos and coloring along. But I love I love the sky. That came out so cool. So this is Prisma Colors and then um, either a Posca pen or a white jelly roll pen. Thank you, Nick and Tina. Thank you, Laverne. And Jackie, <clears throat> losing my voice. So, yep, I'm really pleased with this picture. <coughs> and I don't know what else I have done. But I have tags in here. <coughs> Thank you, Jeannie, because Julie's Passion and Chris Chang have done a lot in this book. So I want to color along with them. Love this page, too. Thank you, Selena and Mona. 
so yep this one I did as well with the mushrooms I love mushrooms and this was also done with Prismacolor pencils and some white Posca and this was done watching Julie's passion for coloring and I loved how she did the sky between her and dreaming color with the skies I am learning so much but I keep forgetting to write down the colors that were used so I can re repeat them in other pictures but yeah this is one of my favorites love it so that's why I like to watch them I slow down their videos I turn the sound off on their videos and then I like listen to my own music and I color along because they don't talk they just do speed color and oh my gosh the stupid hiccups <laughs> so yeah I really really like watching those too so I have a lot of pictures tagged in this that I want to do this year this one I did on my own as you can tell <laughs> it's not quite as fancy as the other pages and this is using the luminance pencils thank you Jessica so yep I used I used my luminance pencils and I'm not good at thinking up backgrounds on my own so when I did this I left the background alone I mean I can go back in and do it another time but yep the, they're the luminance and then a white gel pen or a Posca pen for the dots. I know I don't have a lot of finishes. Then I have this one. If you like peanut butter and you have some, eat spoonful and your hiccups will go away. Really? Really, Candice? So I did this one with also with Julie's passion for coloring. I love him. He's so cute. <laughs> so yep. He's done with Prismacolor pencils and their pass in the new Prismacolor pastels in the background. And then white Posca pen that I did on the grapes. Or it's a ra it's a raspberry, sorry, the raspberry, black raspberry or whatever it is. So yeah, I love that. Julie's passion for coloring, I'm telling ya. My hiccups don't usually stay long. So I don't know if I have any more finishes. I know that's why I wanted to work on this a lot this year because I wanted to get some finishes done in here I think that's it yep that's it for finishes that are in here well how old is your daughter Elizabeth <coughs> Yeah, I bought my daughter-in-law a diamond painting kit for Christmas. Well, I call her my daughter-in-law. They're not married, but I consider her like a daughter-in-law. Okay, where'd I put my pencil I was using? So, she, um, thank you, Candace. Oh, so she's not young, so she can hang out with you while in... That's cool. That's cool, Elizabeth, that your daughter will do that with you. So, I yeah, my daughter-in-law, she bought a coloring book and stuff a couple years ago, but she never got into it. And... Uh, <clears throat> So I thought I, she doesn't have any hobbies, so I bought her 
a diamond painting kit and she loves Tinkerbell but I found a Tinkerbell diamond painting kit but Tinkerbell's not in her regular outfit it's a more darker Tinkerbell and she has tattoos it's really really cute I mean she's not goth she's not goth looking she's just it she's not in like her pink or purple or whatever her yellow outfit it's really really cute so she just finished it and she's already ordered more and she ordered a light pad <clears throat> I know Jessica I'm sorry thank you Robin so Dylan couldn't understand why she had to have all that shit to do diamond painting so one night he was next to her and he started diamond painting her picture and now he's hooked. Well see Jessica then you have to come in the live streams and we'll all be your color and buddies. So I bought, I went on Amazon the other day and I bought him um a kit that comes with two star wars pictures on amazon and he loves star wars so i got him those and i bought him a light pad because i didn't get him anything yet for christmas because all he kept saying he wanted was underwear and socks well he's not going to need that many so i bought him the light pad and the kit that has the two Star Wars in it and then today he sent me a picture from Amazon of this really cool sports car it's all done in blacks and blues it it looks like it's you might get bored doing those colors but it is so cool so he showed that to me so I said did you buy that and he goes no I don't have any money well it was only 10 bucks so I ordered that today for him too. And then Thursday, um, I'm going over there during the day and diamond painting with um, Amber while he's at work. And then I told him I will, when he gets home, him and I are just taking off and spending some time and I will get him his underwear and socks. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> thank you, Nick. So I told Justin today, because Justin wants to try a diamond painting when he comes over, and I have two of them he can choose from. So I was telling him Dylan likes diamond painting now. So Justin goes, I can't wait to try it. And I said, this Saturday, because he comes over Saturday for dinner. I said, Saturday, diamond paint. I'm going to talk him into doing a live stream with me Saturday night. I don't know if he will, but we'll see. <laughs> so... I told Dylan that I ordered all that stuff for him. And it, his light pad just came in like an hour ago. So I just got that delivered. The car, the race car, see if I can find it on Amazon. It is so cool. <clears throat> and, um,. He can have that and then I think what I want to do if they continue to like this I think I want to get him Dylan and Amber drill pens from like Jim's store and maybe each a thing of patty wax Dylan's birthday is in March and Amber's is in May. What? 
I tried to get Andy in it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Scott will do it either. I don't know. He might. He sometimes surprises me. But Amber is now doing the wolf that I did for Scott. She, um, she's doing that now for, I think, her dad. Let's see. So, I'll put this up. I don't know why. It's, oh, it's not prime. It's prime delivery, but I'm not going to get it till Saturday. So, I don't understand that. It says prime, but I'm not getting it till Saturday. Hi, Crystal. How are you? <laughs> so here is the cool looking supercar diamond painting kit that I am ordered for Dylan. It'll be here Saturday and I don't understand why it's taken so long to get here. It's Monday. Why are we all paying Prime when half the time it doesn't come in? on time yeah it's not right but yeah if you like cars I Dylan just thought that was really neat so I ordered it for him he'll like it Because if you don't have Prime, it takes two weeks. Yeah, well, with Prime, it's supposed to take two days. And now this isn't coming till Saturday. So I don't understand that. But that's okay. The other ones will be here anyways. <laughs> you bought yours. <laughs> you canceled Prime. <laughs> Candace is blaming us. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know where they are. It's called Super Decor. That's the name of the company. And I didn't know that. I know it's full drill. I don't know if they're square or round. And Dylan doesn't care because he just told me today that since he just did a round, he wants to do a square. I'm like, really? So, yeah. So, these. So, tomorrow, his Star Wars ones will be here. So, I'll show you those. He loves Star Wars. Oh, thank you, Shine Like a Diamond. So these are the Star Wars. I have Amazon Prime, Amazon warehouses now here too, but it seems like they're taking longer since they got the warehouses. So, yep, those are the two Star Wars kits that come in one kit. So, you'd think I would get my stuff quicker. So, the one Amazon warehouse is like 40 minutes away from me, and the other one's like 30 minutes away from me in different directions. But it seems like it's taken longer for me to get my stuff since they put the warehouses in. Well, you can put it in, Candace, unless you're on your phone and you can't. Heartful Diamond Princess.
so heartful diamond princess well there's a few of them princess is it the one with a uh, tangled the princess from the one from tangled is that the one that you got Hi, Linda. How are you? Oh, I must have missed something that that person said. Good job, Robin. It's the one with all of the princesses. The one that... Um... The one that's $44, that's the only one that's showing me. It's showing me one that's tangled. It's showing me the Little Mermaid. And then it's showing me it looks like stained glass. The stained glass one, that's 44 Okay. Okay, so this is the one that Candace just got. That is really pretty. You're not. Sorry, Jessica. <laughs> we're in coloring, but we're talking diamond painting. We talk about everything in here. <laughs> oh, you meant your princess. Well, yes, I, we all know that. That you wear your tiara when you're coloring in your in on your videos. That your tiara is on. <laughs> That one's really pretty, Candace. <laughs> you do have a tiara. <laughs> talking to the TV he must be yelling at the TV so did it already come in Candace or you just it hasn't come in yet so coloring wise did anybody get anything new the only thing right now that's out that I would like to get is the new Erie book, which is, why am, I don't think, I think the coloring book's too far away for me to be wearing my reading glasses, because my eyes are starting to burn. I would like the new Eerie color and book that does the romantic countries. Oh, you literally just ordered it. <laughs> Elizabeth Adams. <laughs> oh my gosh, Crystal, that many 310? Holy crap. That will definitely keep you busy. So I think tonight I'm just going to keep coloring and watch videos. 
Yep. Thank you, Robin. And you can only get it on Etsy, the new Eerie book. It is not available on Amazon, and they're not sure if it's going to be. You got the Derwent watercolor pencils. Oh, wow, Crystal, really? See, right now I'm getting a lot of diamond painting done because I haven't been babysitting. And so I'm up till, what, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, diamond painting. Once babysitting starts, I won't be getting as much done, which will be good because then my kits will last me a little bit longer. Hi, Rosemary. How are you? So, as far as coloring, that is like the only thing I need right now. Um, yeah, that's it. I don't really need any new co colored pencils. I do want all of the Arteza, but since I already have the full set of 48 and the full set of 72, I really don't want to spend any more on the full set. Because it's just a waste to me when I already have the other sets. I wish I could get them. Yeah, I want... I think I have two of the graphic ones. Mythographic. I know I want a couple more. There's a castle one that I would like. But I, it's not something I really want, want. Tomorrow I'm, I'm going through my bookshelves. As I know there's a lot of coloring books I'm probably not going to keep. So I'm just going to make a stack of them and then I'll go from there and what I'm going to do with them. And I hate to do that because some were given to me, but I want them to go into homes that are really going to color in them. Because I'm at the point right now, I'm not big on Jade Summer anymore. I'm going to keep a couple of them just so I could join in on Jade Summer color lawns. But my tastes have kind of changed. And I like more of the detailed books like this. Yeah, they should have made a set. You're, you're right. They should have made a set for those of us that already have the other ones. So that we don't have to buy the whole set. And I am an Arteza affiliate, but I don't have my affiliate link up because I don't know. I, you know, they asked me to be an affiliate and I said yes. And they asked what they could send me. And I, I you know, I said, well, I'd like to try your marker sometime. And I'd like to try, I want to try your colored pencils. They sent me their smallest set of colored pencils. But yet, when everybody else that was doing the Arteza affiliate, they were showing their stuff all on their channels, and they were sent the the bigger set. And I'm like, why are they getting set sent the bigger sets, and they're only sending me the small sets? And it was like that with their marker set. Somebody, a few of the color tubers, and... I don't care that I only got the small set and they got the large set, but I can't figure out why they would do that. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand why they did that. Yeah, see that, and then, were they the ones that sent, oh yeah, so Arteza sent me the set and some of them were duplicates. They didn't even send me the whole set. Some of the colored pencils were duplicates. 
and I was missing some of the colors and I told them that and all they said to me was thank you for letting us know and I'm like what why didn't they send me and I told them what colors were missing and what colors they gave me duplicates of so I thought they would send me the ones that I was missing but they didn't and I'm thinking you want me to be an affiliate and do reviews on my channel but your customer service stinks like that no so I don't put my affiliate link up And then when I mentioned being an Arteza affiliate, everybody that was on my channel is like, well, I'd rather buy them through Amazon. They cost more through their website. So I'm like, well, no one's going to use them then. Okay, Troy. So I don't put up my Arteza affiliate link. And I like their products. I love my colored pencils. And I told them that. But I don't know. I just didn't care for it. <clears throat> and like, you know, I've liked all my colored pencils. Except for... I forgot what they were. There's two sets. One was, oh, the the um, Statlers, not the Ergosoft. I like the Ergosofts. The Ergosofts was the regular Statlers. I hate them. So I gave them to my grandsons. And I gave them a set of other pencils, but I don't remember. They're supposed to be a watercolor pencil, but nothing happens. They're real cheap. They were given to me several years ago and I don't like them <laughs> you're going to the corner to diamond paint rosemary right but I bet you if I told them I don't have my affiliate link can I have it and can I help you with your products I wonder if they would give me the full set because at the time when I was doing it, I think they gave a full set of the 72 at the time to like three other color tubers. At the same time, they gave me the small set. And I'm like, well, what's up with that? <laughs> and I'm grateful for what they sent me. I just... I just didn't understand why they treated me different than some of the others. It seems like you'd want to treat all the color tubers the same way. Well, yeah, but they had nothing to do with ti diamond painting because I didn't diamond paint then. Try it again. That could be Rosemary. No, they were they had smaller channels than me. They had smaller channels. Hi Cindy. So I was thinking about contacting them and telling them that I can't find my Arteza affiliate link. And when I had redone my the things in my channel, I can't find it. So I'll see what happens. Well, yeah, I don't need new pencils either, but I already have the Arteza. I'd like the new colors. So, I'm debating what I want to do. Does I have the affiliate link with Amazon? I'm happy with that. And not many people use that either. I, you know, f when I first got it, I was getting some months $30. Now I'm getting like 30 cents a month. <laughs> I know it's small and I probably have the replacement for it. And I have a pencil extender too. 
Stop picking on me. <laughs> What's the great news, Laura? Did you win the lottery? <laughs> Arteza has another person email me. Oh, really? Yep. Jim. Oh, cool, Laura. That is so awesome. I think that's a really great idea what you're doing. Is there enough Etsy shops for diamond painting? I'm sure there is. To highlight one a month each month. I just know of him and Donnie and Robin. Yeah, I have pencil extender. It's sitting here somewhere. It's in my pencil bag. I have this little, this, I used to get, what is it, Ipsy makeup in the mail, the monthly subscription. So I still, I have a bunch of these. So that's what I keep my, are you happy now? It's on here. <laughs> Laura is always picking on me about my small, my small pencils. So this pencil extender is a Koei Noor that I got from the what did I where did I get it? Oh, I got this when Catherine was here in August. <laughs> That's right, Jessica. Jessica's sticking up for me. Um, when Catherine was here, we went to the art supply store in Buffalo. So I got this pencil extender because I do have another pencil extender and I hate it. But I love this one. Nubs are naughty. They're not naughty. This one will be replaced when I sharpen it and it gets down to there. Then I will replace it. And I think I already have it. See, these are my replacements. So that's probably what this is. Yep, see, I have it. But I'm going to wait. <laughs> yeah, Laura, see what Jessica says. <laughs> Oh, I forgot about these here to match these. See how I am? And I'm probably not going to do this whole picture every Monday on camera. I'm probably going to work on this tonight when I'm done here. Because I'm not doing color alongs anymore. I like this much better. Just color and chat. Oh, no. <laughs> Mine, I'm never going to get it past the number because then I'm not going to know what the pencil is. Oh, I have no problem throwing the little nubs, nubs away, but they have to get down to that point before I throw it out. Also this year, I really need to do um, swatches of everything I have. I hate doing swatches. That would be a really good thing to do at night when I'm having troubles falling asleep. Or when, before I go to bed is to do some swatches while watching streams or something. I don't know. I hate doing swatches though. But that would be a good thing to do while watching some streams. But I'd prefer to diamond paint <laughs> or color. <clears throat> I 
you just guess. Yeah, I keep a list on my phone of what I need to replace. But when I went in August, <clears throat> I replaced everything. I replaced all my Prismas that were getting short. But I'm not going to... And I've already replaced a bunch. And some I bought more than one extra that, you know, the like black... I think I bought like three of those. You know, a few of them that, you know, the greens. I don't swatch either, Jessica, and sometimes I wish I did. So I th think that's just going to have to be a goal of mine this year. Oh, and I know, one. what time is it? Nine o'clock. So about 9.30... I am going to grab a coloring book and do a flip through or maybe more than one because I have a stack of coloring books that I need to do flip throughs of. So I figured I would do that in my live streams instead of just doing separate videos. Do you think that's okay or do you think it would be best to do separate videos of flip throughs? Because do, do you think more people would see, would watch the flip through than watch my live stream? What do you guys think? Just need your opinion on that. Separate videos. That's, you know, that's what I'm thinking too, Laura. I might just have to sit down and just do a bunch all in one day. And then I can upload one a day. I just, and then the ones that are already on my channel right now, they're un, unlisted. Because I want to change the thumbnail in each one. Because, you know, with all this new crap going on with FTC and all that... Yeah, okay, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You do two or three flips per video. Oh, okay, so I don't really need to do them all separate. I can do a couple books. Okay, and just put them in the title, flip throughs, and then the name of the books. I can do that. You know, even if I have some, like, I probably have four or five color in heaven magazines so i could do like a whole f video of flip throughs of all of them i like that idea do a few per okay okay sounds good to me Is there anybody in here that has never seen a flip through of this? Well, that's what I'm, if I, um, if I group them by artist. So I'm not sure if everybody has seen the flip through of this. I can do a flip through of this. It's just a couple of the pages are colored. But I know this is an older book, so I figured everybody has seen it. And I don't know where you can get it because it's not available on Amazon. I think all of hers are sold out. A lot of people haven't seen this one, really. So I could do a flip through of the one I'm coloring in on Mondays. Okay, well, I can do that when I'm at like, in like half an hour. Oh, you can get this on Etsy? Okay, well, I will do a flip through of this. I might have a video of it, but I'm not sure.
because I have to go through my list of videos. Uh, my reviews will be, my flip throughs and reviews will be going back up. I just have to change all the thumbnails. So, so I should just wait and do the flip through of this, do a Clara Mark. Oh, maybe I'll just redo. I'm going to redo all my flip throughs. That's a really good idea, Laura. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take all of Clara Markova, do one video doing a flip through of all of them. And if people can find them on eBay or Etsy, whatever. I could do it that way. So what I will do, I'm going to read, I'm not even going to put my videos back up. See, Bennett Klein, Kirby Rosanis, I'll just redo my videos. <laughs> That's a good idea. And actually what I could do is make them on the weekends. Well, this week I have time, but when I start babysitting again next week, I could make the videos um, on the weekend and post. I could post them all on Thursdays because that's not when I'm live streaming. So I can post all the flip throughs for Thursdays. Group them by the artist. You know what? That is so perfect because I am going through my coloring books tomorrow. And they are on my bookcases by artist. And then if I have some where I only have one of an artist, then I'll just do a few different artist coloring books in one video. See, you guys are very helpful. <laughs> Good idea. Then when I get new ones in by that artist, then I can flip them, do flip through separately. But for now, that's what I'm going to do. I'll group them, I'll, yeah, flip throughs and then put the ones I don't want in a separate pile. Watch, I'll probably end up finding Oh, that's a good idea. Create playlists by artist. Oh, true. That's true. I know I got to redo some stuff on my channel. Redo stuff. <laughs> the only thing is, okay, Crystal, bye. <laughs> the only thing is, some of them are now colored in where I used to do the flip throughs before I colored in them, and now they're colored in. Yeah, but see, I have, if I do giveaways, then I have to come up with the money for shipping. So what I want to do is my next pay from um, YouTube, that's what I want to do, is use that pay and do a bunch of giveaways. Hi, Savannah. I haven't seen you in a while. So, yeah, that's my goal. 
with my next pay from YouTube is to use it for shipping. Plus, yeah, that's it. The, it's the, the shipping is what's going to kill me, especially if I ship outside of the USA. Oh, that's true, Candace. I know shipping is pricey. That's kind of why I didn't know what I wanted to do because shipping's gotten so expensive. Even if you send someone a couple coloring books, it's almost $10 for two coloring books. So I could do that with the next time I get paid. Yeah, I know, Laura, but then that's not right either if it's a giveaway. Yeah, it's so hard. So, and I do, I'm almost at 3,000 subscribers. Was $9 for one book. Yep. Well, that's what I'm thinking. You know, I could give some to... Um, the boys because they like to color they don't color for lawn so I may I need like 40 30 or 40 more subscribers to reach um, 3,000 so I wanted to do a giveaway where I would give away some coloring books that I have here plus I have a set of pencils I forgot what the pencils are they're uh, they're still in the box um, I had an extra set extra set sent here so that was my goal was to do I think four separate giveaways so I was going to do a giveaway of coloring books with the colored pencils a giveaway of a $25 gift card to Diamond Art Club a giveaway for um, I was going to buy a few things for for planners yeah see Jessica that's just yeah the shipping that was ridiculous yeah so you know I thought I would do some plan uh, a planner giveaway you know they've had planners on sale um, or sticker books. I could do like stickers to give away. And like I said, the $25 gift card to Diamond Art Club. And then for cross-stitching, um, a $25 gift card to Down Sunshine Lane for cross-stitch supplies. Because she's a friend of mine. She owns her own... Um, online cross-stitch site. So I'm thinking that's how I want to do my giveaway. Well, that's what I'm doing for... Um, Mrs. Coffee, she's getting into cross stitching, and I have so much cross stitching. So I told her I would send her stuff. So I just went through all my cross stitch. Some of them are gorgeous stuff that I know I've had them for years. I really would like to stitch them. I know I won't. So she's a lot younger than I am. <laughs> so she will probably get to them. So I'm filling up one of those boxes for her because then the shipping's only like $14 and I can send her a whole crap load of stuff that I think she would like. So, you know, and everything's brand new, nothing's used. And it's, it's paying back to, you know, 
people helping me when I started my channel. I had several people, Catherine's included, who sent me a lot of nice color and stuff, colored pencils. Um, I had one of my subscribers send me the whole set of Holbeins. Someone sent me the whole set of polychromos and the luminance. So, to me, I can pay it forward and help out someone else. <clears throat> yes, yeah, she will be in cross-stitch heaven because some of these, I really, really wanted to do them. And I know that I won't get to them. So, I, right now, I've been going through so much of my cross-stitch and just keeping the artist that I know I really want to cross-stitch. But, um, yeah, and the box, the bag was right here. I don't know what I did with it. It was right here. Hmm. But, yeah, she's going to like it. Oh, no. I hate when the screen freezes. So... Drinking my sparkling water. This one is lemon lime. It's pretty good. I didn't try this flavor before. I've been drinking so much tea. So much tea. Oh, what to buy for cross stitching? Um, a pack of embroidery needles. Hold on, everybody. I've had a ton of tea and now drinking water. I need to go use the restroom. I will be right back. Ouch. Those were my knees that popped. Daenerys, kitty cats, I'm back, sorry about that, <laughs> okay, if you go into any of the craft stores, if you're able to get into a craft store before next week Wednesday, just buy a small cross stitch kit a small one it's for beginners there, there's not a lot to it it's just something small a little animal or whatever a flower they sell them they're small just buy one of those it'll have everything you need in it um, except for scissors but it will have your needle you want embroidery needles and you want a piece of Ada cloth because I'm going to teach you on Ada cloth. I hate Ada cloth because I use um, even weave. I don't care for linen too much, but I will stitch on it. By the way, I got to replace. Oh. Okay, Candace. So you already ordered it? So what colors am I using on these leaves? I wanted something a little bit different. 
You cannot get to a craft store. Hi, Brian. How are you? Okay, let me look on. This will be the best bet. Let me look for a small cross-stitch kit on Amazon. Let me find something um, that would be small. Um, okay, Dimensions has this cat. Let me get this cat. And then there's a unicorn. These are cute little kits. And this is a mermaid. So, here's a kitty cat. This one is perfect for learning how to cross stitch. So here's a kitty cat. This is a little kitty cat. And then this is a unicorn. Here's Here's a unicorn. And here's a mermaid. Here's a mermaid. So, you know, or you can just type in small cross-stitch kit. Now, I don't know what they're thinking because some of these are not small. And, yeah. Why is there two? There's that cat and that cat. Are the cats different? No. They're the same cat. Oh, that's a limited edition. I don't understand. It's the unicorn and the mermaid. So you want something small like those. Um, no, those little kits I think come with the frame. They might, I think those little kits come with the frame. Let me look. I'm looking. Well, I'm not sure about the frame. Oh, and then the one that has the unicorn, if you go and click on that one, they have a cupcake, a butterfly, a flamingo, flowers, a gnome, heart, an owl, peace, and turtle. So if you go on that unicorn one, it, it shows a bunch of other ones, but that's the one thing I don't know. Complete kit. Floss, needle. Oh, and it comes with the with the frame. And the cat one, I don't know about. Hmm. You'll have to check into it. Oh yeah, and the one with the cat includes the the includes the hoop. I just looked under, and it includes the hoop. Yep, they include those little frames and the little hoop in those kits. So if you buy one of those, those don't have a lot of colors. Those are great for beginners. So if you have it, you order those and have it by next Wednesday. And I'm going to find a small chart. And we will type in... Oh, okay. Well, Linda says you can type in my first cross-stitch kit. But I know that one I did with the unicorn, if you go to that one, it has a whole bunch of them there that you can hover over and order from.
Yep. So that's for beginners. I did not start out like that. When I start a project, I just go out all gun ho. <laughs> I started out on a huge piece that was covered the whole thing. I didn't start out doing something small because that's just me. I just, I grab something, I look at the instructions, and then I just go for it. <laughs> Nobody taught me. I taught myself. Yeah, see, I don't I don't like seeing the holes. And I do a lot of stuff with quarter stitches and ha and um it's hard to do that with the Ada. <laughs> but no, I am the type that when I start a hobby, I'm just going to start off big. To just forget it. I'm just going to start out big. <laughs> Oh, really? She taught her seven and eight graders. Yeah, my boys have done it. Um, when they were probably that age, they cross-stitched. They each did an ornament. They just were bored with it. Dylan especially. And Scott's tried it. And um, it, Scott can't sit still. So he had a really hard time doing that. You're welcome, Robin. And then, like I said, next week... I will find me something small to teach you. And I am sure Stitcherista on YouTube has something. And I know that um, Mrs. Coffee plans on doing a um, how to stitch on her channel. And you might learn more from her because she's also new where I've been doing this for 30 years. So to me, I'm like, I I. I don't know where to start. <laughs> you know, I can teach you my way, but it might not be the easiest way because, like I said, I just went gun ho <laughs> And I gave Catherine a small kit when she was here because I, you know, I am trying to get rid of some things, but I don't, I don't know if I have any other small kits. Hi, color in the wire grass. Yeah, I I used to breathe, sleep, eat, everything was all cross stitch. That's all I did. From the time I got up in the morning till I went to bed. I watched TV while cross stitch and I listened to audiobooks. That's all I did. I did that more than I diamond paint. I did that more than I color. And family, that's what they got for Christmas gifts. See, not me. This is getting short, so I'll be sharpening it soon because I like the sharp tips. You know, and I, I do want to talk more about coloring when I'm doing my coloring chats. It's just right now, you know, diamond painting's new to me and a lot of us, so that's pretty much what we've been talking about. Oh, really, Rosemary? Yeah, because I, when I started this channel, it was just for um, BookTube, and I talked about my reading. Well, I didn't get many subscribers, so I thought, well, it's my channel. I can do what I want. So I added in my cross-stitching, and I got a lot more subscribers. And then I stopped cross-stitching, and I started coloring. It was easier for my eyes at the time. And I brought in my color in, and that's when this channel took right off. But I would like to get back. I want I want to start getting back into cross-stitching on here. You know, this is my channel. It's all about all my hobbies. Even though it says a color in book nook. <laughs> right. Embroidery has the pattern stamped onto the fabric cross stitch doesn't you can get it you can get stamped cross stitch 
I don't like stamped cross stitch. I like counted. So you would get a pattern and then your fabric. Um, yeah, you have a pattern and then you have your pat your fabric. So then you're going to have to match up the pattern to the fabric. I'll teach you. <laughs> I will teach you. It's not as hard as it sounds. And it might take you a couple times going, I don't get this, and then one day it's just going to click. It's, you know, but you can get them stamped. All, like, like the diamond painting, you can get them stamped. I don't like, I personally don't like stamped cross-stitching. I only like to do counted. I started out with stamped as a teenager. My, gra my one grandmother had bought me some pillowcases that were stamped. And then I tried counted and stamped never touched stamped again <laughs> and I do big pictures for cross stitching I don't know I don't I've done so many little things that I no longer want to do little ones <clears throat> Hi Miss Pearl you come back to see me? Right, Rosemary. And you also, if you don't like the pillowcases that are out there for the, that are stamped, you can do counted cross stitch on the pillowcases. They have an iron on grid. It's blue. And you iron the grid onto your pillowcase, and then you find the pattern you want to do, and you do counted cross stitch on that pillowcase on the grid. And then when you're all done, it's a blue grid, it rinses right out. You put it under water and scrub it, and the blue comes right out of the pillowcase. So you can do counted cross stitch on your pillowcase if you don't like the designs that are already on the pillowcases. It's called Easy Graph, I believe. Yeah, I've done, um, I've probably done at least a dozen sweatshirts. And I've used the Easy Graph. I iron it on. Yeah, I've done a lot of sweatshirts as Christmas gifts. You know, you get the ten dollar sweatshirts at Am or at um, Walmart, and you cross stitch on them. And I have done a lot of them. I even sold. People wanted me to cross stitch. I had a book. I don't think I have it anymore. I'm not sure, but it had the helmets of every cr every football team, NFL, and I would cross stitch the football helmet onto the sweatshirt and I sold them. My husband sold a few of them at his one job he had. <clears throat> and I've done I've done an eagle on a sweatshirt for my mom. Um, I've done a couple of bears and a couple of deer on sweatshirts. Scott, Scott, he, well, it's, he wore the shirt out, but he had one that had a gray wolf on it. It was gorgeous. That took me forever to do. But I was a stay-at-home mom. We didn't have extra income coming in. I had two little boys, and so Christmas gifts were handmade. Everybody got handmade, and my family loved it. My mother-in-law, I did what was called Sleeping Beauty by Mirabilia. It's huge. It's sitting in, a, in my um, family room right now. And I couldn't afford to have it framed. And she was thrilled that I did that for her. So she went and paid to have it framed. 
and I did a Thomas Kincaid one for her that was counted cross stitch and um, I did I framed that myself I learned how to frame it's a pain in the butt for cross stitching but I have done it and um, I don't know I've just I've done a ton of them for Christmas gifts and Scott he has a wolf that I um, cross stitched that's hanging up in the living room. Um, yeah, Justin, he has a Teresa Wentzler. She she um, make, used to make patterns, and they were all fantasy. And it has a dragon wrapped around a castle, and um, that was a Christmas gift for him. And I had that framed at Michael's. And that was expensive. And I even used a 60% off coupon and it was still expensive. But yeah, I found ways to get people nice gifts. It was just a lot of time. It wasn't it didn't cost me a lot to make the stuff. It was just a lot of time. And I had the time, you know, the boys would get on the bus. And even when they were toddlers, they're like my grandsons. They didn't want me sitting on the floor playing with them. And so I'd cross-stitch. And my boys never, ever touched my stuff. I left my embroidery scissors out on the table. I left my cross-stitch stuff out on the table all day long, you know, get up, do laundry, get up, go to the bathroom. And those kids never touched my stuff once. They just knew you don't touch that stuff. I never had an issue. And my the cats I had at that time never touched my stuff. My dogs didn't. Daenerys wouldn't unless she's mad at me. My cats, forget it. Well, no, I can't say that. My cats are good with that stuff except for Pearl. This one right here. <laughs> She tries to take off with my scissors when I'm sitting there cross-stitching. She will look at me and try to take off with them. Your son was the same way. Chat's gotten quiet. It must be boring, everybody. <laughs> They're like, we don't care about the cross-stitching. I'm in the coloring chat. Lurking and working. Well, it still says I have 26 watching. That's pretty cool. 25 thumbs up. That's awesome, too. This is, I'm enjoying coloring because I don't have to call out the colors. It's not part of a color lawn, and if I want to finish this off camera, I can. You got invested in your diamond painting. So which diamond painting are you doing again, Jessica? Oh, and Laura, Dylan says that he wants to do a square diamond painting. Yep told me today he says okay we did a round one I want to do a square one I said really so I didn't even pay attention the ones I bought him I think they're round though oh <laughs> uh, thank you Laura The Humongo Fantasy one. Oh, okay. Sometimes I don't watch the diamond painting videos right away. I have a playlist for them. And I watch them at night when I'm um, diamond painting. And I don't know if anybody's live tonight. 
Oh, Emily. See, Emily Illustrator used to do her lives in the morning, and now all of a sudden she's live streaming when I'm on. I don't know why she, she changed her schedule again. Okay, what is behind this? Hmm. <clears throat> Something's blocking my uh, laptop that I can't move it. There. So, yep. And coloring wise, yeah, I'm. I was so glad I got to color again tonight because, like I said, it was supposed to be a coloring weekend for me. I try to have uh, each weekend a different schedule for hobbies. So, this coming weekend is the readathon that I do every month with a Facebook group. And then another weekend is cross-stitching all weekend. And another weekend is diamond painting all weekend. So, trying to do that so that I get in all my hobbies. As I read mostly during the day when I babysit. And I haven't been reading a lot since I haven't been babysitting, so I need to read this week. What pencils work best in romantic country? Okay. Wow, Jessica, that's nice. What pencils work best in romantic country? I know the Prisma colors work nice in romantic country. Who else has worked? Yeah, Prismacolor. See, Prismacolors. I think mo that's mostly what I've colored in. Arteza. Okay, there you go. So, Artezas and Prismacolors. I think a soft pencil. A wax pencil. Oh, the Pallies work too? Oh, there you go. Just about every pencil. I think Romantic Country, um, you can use almost anything in. The paper's really nice in them. And I think it depends on how you color. You know, the polys... Polys, you have to layer. You can't blend like you can with the Prismas. Because polys are an oil pencil. They're a hard leaded. Where the Prismas are soft and are a wax. Yeah, ink tents would work great in them too. So, um, yeah. And I know, who is it that's doing the color along all year? I told on Friday, there's a color lawn all year for the first tale. Romantic Country, the first tale, and Lori's Color and Hangout is doing that for the whole year. And it's hashtag Romantic Country 1 LCH 2020. So it's a year-long one. We have three or four people doing year-long ones. Yep, one, two, three, four. There's four, five. There's five color lawns that are going on all year long. Nope, there's another one, five. <clears throat> So, yep, if you watched my, um, if you were in my live or watched it from Friday, 
there's five color lawns that are for the whole year and I've got to get them up on my blog I thought I would have more time but it seems like because I was sick a lot in December I didn't get a lot of stuff done that I wanted to and Scott's still hacking up his crappiness plus he's trying to quit smoking <laughs> so he's coughing up all that junk But, yeah, I know that there's a couple of color lawns I want to do this year. Plus the five coloring books that I'm mostly coloring in. I'll color in other ones, too, but the five that I'm focusing on for the channel. So this is coloring book is what I'm mostly coloring in this year. And I have been coloring almost this whole picture without my reading glasses on. Because I had them on and I started getting a headache. So it must be because I don't have my... I'm. I don't have my fit. Yeah, see, right? It's far enough away from me that I can see it good. If I get any closer to it, then I'm going to need my glasses on. Cool. Anne has a marker challenge. How come I didn't see that? How did I miss that? Is it for the whole month? I must have missed that video somehow. I'm going to have to go look for it or go on her channel and find it so that I can write it down. Is it for the whole month, Laura? Because I know she wasn't doing color lawns this year either. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. For a whole month. Okay. I'll go look for it. So I can put it in the news. I'm surprised she didn't tell me because I thought she was in my color and news Friday. I don't remember her telling me. See, I want a million Christmas cats. I want a million Christmas cats and I think the owls. I don't have any of that artist's books and I do want one of hers. And I, I don't want them all. She only has a one or two I like. They're all cute, but... Yeah, I know, Laura. But she knows... That's why she comes in on Fridays. Because she likes my coloring news. And I tell people, let me know what you're doing. I need to know if there's diamond painting stuff going on. So I can start adding that to my news. So it's not just coloring news. I need to find out... All kinds of stuff. Oh, the Christmas cat isn't hers. Yeah, I want the million owls. Oh, really? The owl one's only... Hmm. Might have to go check that out. Because I don't have any of hers, and sometimes there's... Um, a color along going on with a million with that artist. Oh, 
Okay, so the Christmas cat is a different one. I think I've seen it though, the Christmas cats. But I know I want the million owls one. That might be the only one I really wanted. Yeah, Lulu Mayo. I'm I'm thinking Lucy, Lu, and I'm thinking Lulu, and then I can't remember her last name. Has a big book called World's Cutest Animals. Hmm. Because I don't want a lot of more color in books. You know, I get the color in heaven every month. But, the, you know, sometimes you want some of those cute little ones, especially for color lawns. You know, that's why I don't want to get rid of every Jade Summer because there's someone always does a Jade Summer color lawn. So I would like to keep a couple of them, but I don't want them all. And I don't want any more new ones. You know, and I have a lot of Heather Valentins, so I don't really need to buy any more of hers. I have a few Sherry Baldies. Yes, you have to do the 310. <laughs> 310, you have to do them. Oh, you, yeah, the new Eerie book. Yep, I want the new Eerie book. I have fairy celebrations. Well, if it's for Adam, tell Adam to do the 310. <laughs> yeah, I'm at that point where I'm saying no more books except for my favorite art artists like Clara Markova, definitely. I am really hoping Tomasov Tomic comes out with a new color and book because it's been two years and we need a new one. Oh, Trixie, that's right. I forgot you're working on Trixie. Well, I'm not feeling sorry for you because you got Trixie and I can't get it because it's sold out. You haven't, Jessica. Really? You haven't colored in them? Oh my gosh. They are my favorites. I, yeah. And someone's doing Tomislav Tomic this month. So I have to color a picture. Who is it? Who's doing Tomislav Tomic? I think it's Grace on her Facebook group. Yep, Grace's Coloring Corner on Facebook. It's Tomislav January. See, Jessica? You need to pull one out and finish it for Grace's Facebook group. Why do I have a feeling he's not going to town? Either that or he did and I didn't hear him leave the house. <clears throat> He's just going to sit in there and hack up a lung. <clears throat> Can we get Jess to do color lawns in her group? I didn't either. This year I have them because I'm not doing them on my channel. And, you know, I have moderators in my group. But no one seems to want to really do anything. I, you know, I tried to get them to do color lawns in that. So, oh, you don't like to? You don't like doing color lawns, huh? 
fancy. I like doing color lines. I just, I don't want to do, host them anymore except for in my Facebook group. Yeah, that's true. But I like to do other people's color lawns. Because that's what I was focusing on this year was other people's color lawns. Miss Pearl. Stop. Yes, I love you, but I don't need you to lick my hand. I don't know. Hi, Amber. How are you? Where is Pearl? She was right here. She's on the table. Scott, are you okay? He can't hear me. Laura wants to know if you're dying. Well, I do have gray hair. <laughs> he says, well, I do have gray hair. <laughs> Hi, Dave. How are you? So if anybody's into diamond painting, Dave and Amber, who is diamond painting with Ashink 93, they have um, channels. And Dave does live streams on Sunday nights right after my live stream that I do of the Mad Libs. He's on right before Laura comes on. And anybody that has a channel or does live streams, um, put up three hearts so people can subscribe to you. <laughs> yeah, Laura, he ain't dying then. <laughs> and they also have a cat whose name is Hank. And he likes to get into the live streams just like Pearl does. He is a very pretty cat. <laughs> oh, and I got in a diamond painting kit today from Diamond Art Club called Enchanted. So, yeah, I couldn't wait to get that. I know um, Dave and Amber are working on Betsy Lynn. It is so pretty. And I want the new one that's uh, Sherry Baldi's design. But I can't buy it. Right now, I am buying one diamond painting a month. And it's going to be from different companies so I can try them out. Because I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven diamond art clubs sitting here. So, and I've already done a couple. So, yep. Figured I have enough Diamond Art Club, but you know how it is. They get the new stuff in and you want them. And if you don't hurry up and snag them, they might not have them back. The popular ones sell out quick. <laughs> what drill case? I have the TikTok container cases. I have two of them. And I have another one I bought. Oh, no, I didn't buy it. Um, I received it from... A cross stitch retreat. I want it. And that one has a screw top on it. 
that I use for my diamonds. They don't have a lot. Didn't I buy one though for the wolf? What one did I buy? I did buy something. Hold on. This, I believe I bought this on um, Amazon, but they're very small. So I have that, but they're too small. It's too small. Hi, Jeremy. How are you? So yeah, these are very, they're attached. They're attached to each other and they're very small. So I don't recommend this case. Unless you do the smaller ones. But I didn't know any better when I started. But I like the Tic Tac cases. I have two sets of them Catherine bought me. And that's these here. This is the Tic Tac cases. And it comes with labels. So you can put the labels on them. And they're like this. They open up. So you can fill them, put the top back on, and you can pour them out into the tray. So that's the Tic Tac ones. And you get, what, 60 of them in here? Yeah, Jeremy is a lot of fun to watch, too. I have a few favorites of live streams. Mrs. Coffee and Dave's channel, Jeremy. I have a lot of fun in theirs. Miss Pearl. <laughs> You're welcome, Candace. Hi, Christy. Yep, crafting with Christy. She's a new one. <laughs> she was scratching the molding in the hall. That's why I yelled at her. Hi, Mrs. Coffee. She is a naughty cat. She has a huge ass cat tree and she scratches the molding in the hall. So that's why I was yelling at her. <laughs> Well, the diamond painters are coming in. I know, Mrs. Coffee. Laura already yelled at me once tonight. I Here's my pencil extender. <laughs> and I already have this color. I have a new pencil. I'm just waiting for it to get a little bit... Yeah, who was streaming tonight? Was there someone streaming tonight? I do love the tiny pencils. I know Laura's getting mad at me. Color a Hi. <laughs> who was streaming? It's like everybody all of a sudden just came in. Laura Law was streaming at the same time I started. That's probably where everybody just came from. <laughs> yep, that's what Mrs. Coffee said. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I use up my little pencils as much as possible. I do have replacement, see? And I do have this in there. I'm just waiting for it to get a little bit smaller. That's what the pencil extender's for. <laughs> and for those of you new in my stream or my channel... Sometimes my dog will just get up and bark her head off and scare the shit out of us. Just because she thinks she's a badass and she's just got to bark it. If the deer are out, I mean, I live out in the country. There's deer all over. 
She was barking earlier before I started streaming because Amazon guy was here and she wasn't happy about that either. She hates the Amazon guys and she hates the UPS guy. <laughs> like, stop. Don't go after them. That's right. Waste not, want not. <laughs> yep. It's after 10 already? Wow, I usually done streaming at 10. We guys have been, we've been chatting and showing goodies. Any other new new coloring books coming out colored pencils coming out anything new in the coloring world besides the new eerie book and what is the name of that new eerie book anyways something about traveling or world of travel So Wednesday night, oh, Emily is streaming. Jeremy, see, I don't think I've ever heard Trapper really bark in your streams. Yeah, she doesn't like strangers at all. And she's very, very protective of me. So, if I'm home, she's worse than if Scott's home alone. My cat sits on the front porch and greets the mailman. Well, my pup try. Yeah, my dog would attack them. She's just... And I don't know why, because I can't say it's a breed, because I've had this breed before. She's just... But I got her when she was seven weeks old, so I don't know if that's why. I don't know. A high is supposed to be negative two. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We've been warmer than we should be. And usually January is our coldest month, and we get down in the wind chills of negatives. Oh my, so that's, yeah, that's before your wind chill. We get that in January here, but I, it's been warmer than normal here this, this winter. And we haven't even really had a major snowstorm yet, and that's unusual too. <laughs> You're hoarding all the snow, but I like the snow. I just don't drive in it. I haven't had to babysit in two months. The snow could have been falling. I didn't go anywhere. My car actually left the driveway today the first time in a couple weeks. I went and 
visited my parents and went got some groceries. And by the way, my dad is doing much better. And a nurse was coming in to check on him today and my mom said a physical therapist was also coming in today and I'm like, good, it's about time because he gave up doing physical therapy. You live on 15 acres. Oh, nice. Yeah, he's doing good. He still thinks he knows more than the doctors, you know. He's just that type of person. <laughs> he knows it all. He knows, just knows it all. <clears throat> but yeah, he's feeling better. I didn't talk to him a lot. I sat at the dining room table with my mom. I was looking at, I bought her a diamond painting for Christmas. So we were looking at that and drinking tea. But Scott was talking to my dad most of the time. And he said, yep, yeah, he's still in that. Doctor does know what he's talking about. <laughs> World Heritage Traveling Over Time. Okay, thank you, Robin. I knew I had the word traveling in it. Who else streams at late on Monday nights? Anybody? See, I'm new, new to the diamond painting, so I have no idea who streams. I do have that, uh, that Google Sheets that Pippa did. So today's a Monday. Patriotic Beauties on at 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And she sure is not happy with Diamond Art Club right now. But uh, we won't get into that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye Wiregrass. Bye Robin. You have a good night. I think I'm gonna say goodbye too. I'm well, I'm usually done. Drea. Oh really? She's not on the Google Sheet, but I think I I think I just subscribed to her. I think I just subscribed to her the other day. Who did I say was on soon? Um, no, Drea is on Tuesday nights. Patriotic Beauty's on in about an hour. I'll send you this Google Sheet. Hold on. Okay, here's the Google Sheet. Yeah, I just looked. Dre is on tomorrow. So, this is so far what Pippa has down for live streams. And I do my live streams for diamond painting on Saturday nights but see I didn't know there were already other people on at the same time because like I said I'm new to this I didn't know anybody but I'm going to say goodbye tomorrow night's live stream is about planners we do planner talk 
most people aren't interested in that, and that's fine because, you know, I stream almost every night. It's always something different. The only night I don't is Thursday. So Tuesday is planner talk. Wednesday will be cross-stitching. Friday is just all the hobby news that's out there. Tea time, I talk about the books I'm reading. Saturday is my diamond painting. And Sunday night is adult night. We play games. Mad Libs. And I just bought new ones today. And I'm going to see if Dylan, my son Dylan still has that game called Speak Out. I think it's called where you put that plastic or metal piece in your mouth and you read off what it says on the card and everybody has to say what you're they're trying to figure out what you said <laughs> i think he has that game i'm gonna have to find out because that would be too funny you guys trying to figure out what the hell i'm saying <laughs> so i will see you all again thank you all for coming i really really appreciate it love you guys Bye.